my name is Shay Creeley, and I'm the Program Director for Artists Creating Together. Welcome to another Stay Home and Stay Creative. Today's activity was inspired by our Open Studio Anywhere for the month of October on Renaissance Art. Now, if you didn't catch the Open Studio Anywhere for October, don't worry, you can still do this project with me. But afterwards, if you feel inspired to catch the Open Studio Anywhere, you can find it on our website at www.artistcreatingtogether.org slash open dash studios. For today's Stay Home and Stay Creative, we're going to be making our own tempera paint. Tempera paint is something that was commonly used by Renaissance artists like Michelangelo. Back then, artists couldn't just go to their local Michaels and buy tubes of paint. Early artists had to make their own paint. Tempera paint has been found as far back as in Egyptian art and was very commonly used by Renaissance artists up until around the 1500s when they started to gravitate more towards oil paints. To create our own tempera paint, we are going to need the following items. One egg, specifically one egg yolk. About one third cup of water. I like to put mine in a measuring cup because it's easier to pour. A fork and bowl for mixing the egg yolk. Colorful chalk or even sidewalk chalk will do. A muffin tin. I like using a muffin tin for tempera paint because this is what we can put all of our paints in and there are lots of different cups so you can make lots of different paint colors. Something hard that you can use for crushing up the chalk. You really want the chalk to be crushed into as fine a powder as possible. A small clean rock will do or the bottom of a thick wooden spoon. Today I'm going to use this along with the bottom of a thick paintbrush. Then once our paint is made, you'll need supplies for painting like paper, paintbrushes, paper towels, clean water, whatever else it is that you use when you paint. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is break your egg, saving only the yolk in a small bowl. and make sure you remove the membrane. Next, I am breaking up one stick of chalk in my muffin tin cups for each color of paint that I want. The chalk will give our tempera its color. I'm kind of spacing the chalk out because I'm going to break it up right in the muffin tin and sometimes the chalk pieces can fly out. Then you need to crush up your chalk. The finer you can crush it, the better. You might even want to crush up your chalk in a baggie first and then dump it out into the muffin tin. Next, pour a small amount of water into each cup and let the chalk soak. It doesn't need to soak for very long. Just know that the more water you add, the more watery and light your paint color will be. So you might want to start off with a very small amount of water in the beginning. You can always add more later. Next, add a small amount of egg yolk to each cup. Then, using your paintbrush, mix up the egg yolk with the chalk and water mixture. Now you're ready to paint. Now you're ready to start painting. So you can just treat this the way you would any other type of paint that you paint with. When I paint, I always like to have a lot of differently sized brushes with me, paper towel, lots of clean water, and of course the surface, whatever it is that I'm painting on, which today is watercolor paper. Make sure when you start that you experiment. Take a look at what the colors look like so that you can figure out if you like how dark or how light it is. If you might want to make some more, you can mix colors together. You can do all sorts of things with, with this paint just as you would any paint that you purchased from the store.
Well, I hope you enjoy today's Stay Home and Stay Creative, making our own egg tempera paint. I really like my making my own tempera because it's easy to do and it washes out. And whenever I make it, I think of Renaissance artists like Michelangelo and Da Vinci, who you can learn all about in our open studio anywhere for the month of October. You can even use your egg temper paint to do the hand drawing activity that you can find in the open studio anywhere packet. But whatever it is that you choose to do, remember to stay safe and find creativity wherever you go.